Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Holy Diver. Okay, right now we're in Area 4 where clearly the difficulty is going to get a lot higher. You gotta be dealing with boulders that fragment as soon as they hit something. And of course, even the rocks themselves, even the small parts, hurt you. Not to mention you gotta be dealing with these wing creatures that keep flying away from you. And as soon as they lunge forward... They'll try to hit you, and if they miss, they'll use a crescent wave attack, which also hurts. If push comes to shove, use your twin fire. And I got lucky there. That could have went horribly wrong. Of course, this is not the worst part. The worst part is coming up, like, probably midway through the level. Either way, you gotta be cautious. Because there's a lot of ways you can die. Not counting the pits, either. Look at that! Doesn't that look like a heap of bull to you? Just so many ways to die, so many ways to get hurt. You just gotta hope you don't run into all of them at once. Damn it! Damn it! Must you break hearts like this, game? Oh, you got to be shitting me. Oh, I couldn't even jump! Oh, yeah. Now, that's not ridiculous at all. Okay. How many lives do I have? Okay, three. Yeah, I gamed over it on purpose, like off-footage, so I can get the full three lives. And I'll, I'll take the death. That way I get full health. Fair enough. Let's go. Let's kill the bat. Like, why did the boulders decide to come up from back there? They weren't there before, so why show up now? Who's pushing them? I don't know. I just wish I knew. And I could kick his ass. Or her ass. Then again, it's a woman. Who? Why would a woman be pushing boulders? Who would want to push boulders at old Rene over here? Other than these guys. Despite the fact they have no arms. <sighs> Stupid statue! I'm gonna have to use twin fire. There, that's better. Ah, Come on. Why am I always getting the timing wrong? That's better! I'm gonna need more magic. There's another bat. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh, these guys again. At least I can destroy those crescent shots. There, that's better. Ah, why'd I do that? Oh, come on. Stop knocking me off. Oh, man, this game is brutal. Wait till I get to level 5 or 6, so come to think of it, I never got as far as level 5 or 6. I kept dying in this stage. Back when I was practicing this, like, months ago. I could never get past level 4. And it's pretty obvious why once we get far. Oh, come Oh, now the enemies come back! Why'd I do that? Okay, so I'm safe here. Good. Like, the shots can't get me that way. Well, actually, they can, but they're easy to dodge. Eh. Eh. Ah! Oh! Okay, I'm stayed on. Oh, better. Oh, mana extender. That's great. Okay, I think this is the part that's gonna give me some trouble. Is it? Uh, no, no, wait, that's not it. This part ain't bad. It could be, but it's... You got to be shitting me! Like, you can kill this fire centipede, but it takes too long. 
and I think you need overdrive to do it! I hate when that happens. Like, one hit knocks you into a pit and you die. Every time! Oh, come on! Come on! That's borderline ridiculous. Way too many hits. I'm sorry. Damn it, game. Even if I did kill this thing with overdrive, it comes back immediately. There, that's better. Have more health than I came out with. Whoa, that was close. Ah, uh, another wing creature. Gotta kill this thing, there we go. Okay, I think there's something good up here. So let's get up there right now and break more enemies. And did that gargoyle disappear? No, no, it just came back. I hate when those shots do that! It's like, for some reason they can't hit you, and then all of a sudden they can. Uh, every time! Oh my god, one enemy inflicted that much damage. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> There's no secret about that. And I picked up the uh, rod, and all it does is cut my magic use in half. So that's a pretty good item to have. Oh... Oh my god! I forgot to like save when I got out of there. Bad save? Yeah, I thought so! Huh, I'm gonna rage at this, aren't I? You can tell why I wasn't looking forward to LPing this game. I don't know why I went with it. Guess I'm just a glutton for torture. That guy just left for no reason. Why is that? Oh, now it comes back. Luckily, he's not a threat. Like, why do they just disappear, but they're technically still able to attack me? And worse yet, when I get a chance to attack them, they're out of reach. Okay, that's a little bit better, so I got more health than before. Okay, full health. Great. Get the wizard staff back. I suppose that gargoyle's still around, because I didn't kill it. Oh, no, it's not coming back. Good. Okay, this is the part I dread. Because of this guy right here. The golem. As far as I could call it weak shots, and not to mention pretty fast, strong ones. Worst case scenario, he knocks you back outside and you have to fight him again. Luckily, he turned into a dragon as soon as you beat him. But now you gotta be dealing with Cheerios of death. Oh, good health. Ah, great. Fire Centipede is back. There should have been an extra life there, and I take a cheap shot for good measure! Ugh! Oh, God, this game is frustrating. Something tells me I'm gonna need Blizzard to take care of these guys. And unfortunately, Golem is not affected by Blizzard. Now, the good news is, he cannot shoot through the walls. So I can keep spamming my twin fire and hurt him. What the hell? That wasn't supposed to happen. And why did I forget to save after the dragon part? Okay, get the mana extender. On the golem again. Of course, there's. Oh my god! 
That means I gotta keep spamming this over and over again. Again? I'm starting to hate this game. I really am. Ah, oh, that's every time. <sighs> Must you do this to me, game? It's always something. What if I just hung around and tried to kill him this way? Of course, that doesn't work either. Okay, how about now? I have to keep spamming this, that's the annoying part. Okay, there we go. Golem defeated. It's still the matter of these things, though. Oh, good. Life extender. I really needed that. Oh, and there's another golem! That means I gotta be doing this... Oh! I'm... Really sorry. Wait, who the hell am I apologizing to? Like, really, who's gonna flame me for doing difficult... having a hard time with Holy Diver? If anything, I should be flamed for having an easy time with it! Oh, come on! Oh, I hate this game. I'm actually starting to hate this game. Actually, I should have started a long time ago, but you get the idea. Especially this part. And I got hit! Why am I sounding like a whiny bitch all of a sudden? To be honest, I'm surprised I got this far myself. Whoa, whoa! Great, two, three hits! Okay, this is all one level. This is all one level. Man, I'd just be happy to get to the boss. Oh great, another golem. Hmm. Something tells me... Okay, how the hell do I get back up there? I couldn't. Oh. Could I have triggered the golem somehow? Ah, yes, I could have. Okay, I'm down to my last life, so if I die, I gotta start the entire level over again. Okay, so I'm not even gonna try to kill the golem. If anything, I'm just gonna camp out, lure it over to the side. That way, I don't have to worry about fighting it. Why does this thing have, like, a mouth on its stomach, too? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Can these things hurt me when they're still? Yes, they can. Ah, <laughs> not this time. Oh, boss time! Already! Well, in that case, let me use this. Oh, I can see why this is hard. I'll just camp over here to make sure... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! To take out as many eyes as you can. And try to avoid the shots. But how can you? Not to mention the graphic glitch. This is a ridiculous boss right here. And here I was excited to get to the boss because I didn't have to deal with any more golems. Now the golems don't seem so bad. 
So your objective is to take out the eyes. All of the eyes. Not to mention, every time I take a hit, I seem to get knocked off the platform altogether. Why do you have to make the platform so freaking small? If you're gonna make them that small, what's the point of a hit bar? No, no! I made a bad save! That means I gotta do the whole level all over again! Oh, for fuck's sakes, I'll meet you back at the boss. Okay, I made it back to the boss, and hopefully I do not mess this up like I did last time. It's pretty easy to when you... I was walking away from the edge. Why did I still fall? I'm just gonna keep spamming overdrive and hope it works, getting at least one of the eyes defeated. Maybe I shouldn't jump. Or if I jump, n jump where you know you're not gonna get hit. <sighs> I did not learn. Like sometimes this boss is just utter bullshit. Look at that. How does one prepare for a boss like this? You don't. Especially when you have like so little room. Okay. Oh, good. Thank God I made a backup. The eye or the overdrive may be my best option. And even then, it's not foolproof. Two hits! So I collide with the enemy once, and while I'm still falling away from the enemy, I take another hit? What kind of black magic is this? I don't understand this at all. Why did I sign myself up for this crap? Really? There's no evasive action! And if there is, there is very little of it. It's just not fair! I can't even tell how many eyes I've beaten! It looks like only the top one is left. So that means I only got like one target that's shooting at me. Well, better than three. Wait, did I win? Yes, I did. There! Damn! I'm just lucky I didn't fall to my death after beating the boss. So now I get Thunder Spell, and all of a sudden I turn into a dragon and walk in and fly into Glitch City. Is this even supposed to happen? Looks like it is. Just not to look like that. Akuma no Kyuden. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get greeted by an enemy right away. Wow, what a great start. Next part, we're gonna do stage five. See ya.